Hello guys, welcome to history class. Today we shall be looking at USSR control over Eastern Europe. USSR control over Eastern Europe. Now we'll be looking at this lesson objective under the topic. The first lesson objective is describe the situation in Hungary. The situation that happened in Hungary. And we'll also be looking at the reaction of the Soviet leader to the situation in Hungary. And lastly, we'll be evaluating the outcome of the situation in Hungary. Now, let's look at the trouble in Hungary. Now, the Hungarians the were unhappy. They were dissatisfied with their leader. And who was the leader at that time? Gero was the leader. They didn't want Gero. They wanted a situation whereby they could elect who will lead them. They wanted a situation that they would decide who will be their president. Also, they were not satisfied with the presence of Soviet troops in Hungary. Because they were, now that did not give them freedom, freedom to do whatever they like. They didn't have freedom of speech, they didn't have freedom of movement. Also, the Soviet government was in charge of the economy. The Soviet government was in charge of the factories, the farm, and control virtually everything. You know, in communism, the economy is centrally planned, and uh, the government controls the means of production, distribution, and exchange. So the Soviet Union was in charge of everything, but the people demanded freedom. They demanded that they should be able to control their farm on their own. They should be able to control their factories. They should be able to determine what the factory produced and what they could consume through the factories. All right, the reaction of the Soviet leader to this problem. Now, the first thing he did was that he sent troops to Augury. He sent troops to, the, to Augury to suppress the uprising. Another thing he did was he sacked the leader and then appointed a new leader, Nagi. Nagi promised them reformation. He promised them something that will come and then that will give them freedom. And lastly, the people were happy that Nagi became their leader and Nagi promised them reformation. I believe with this, we have had enough insight into what the USSR control over Eastern Europe is all about. And we shall be learning more in our Google class over the topic. Thank you.